I see a little jump over here. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> there goes my foot peg, ladies and gents. That was the straw that broke the camel's back right there. Yeah, that thing is goner. <laughs> Fun times on the KLR650. <laughs> oh, let's just cram it in there. Maybe the force of gravity will keep. <laughs> oh, much love, guys! What's up, ladies and gentle tubers? Right now I have a choice. Do I go over the whoops or do I go through the trench? Whoops, trench, whoops, trench. I wanna go through the trench. We're taking it easy. I actually have a, an awesome, awesome, awesome moto vlog topic today. This one is brought to you by Seek the Planet, uh, the brainchild of uh, Doc Man Rides. I wanna tell you guys all about it. Very briefly, Sink the Planet is where riders from across the world, all around the globe, and it's getting bigger every year, started last year, but riders from all around the world all ride in their own locations at the same time. So it's super cool. Let's do trench and whoops. Let's do ADHD and depression. No, just kidding. Uh, so we're, so, <laughs> now I'm distracted because this is fun. Okay, I'm just hoping my foot peg doesn't fall off. It's kind of wonky. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah, whoops. On a KLR, oh man. <laughs> okay, sorry. Just having a little too much fun. So uh, anyway, Sink the Planet, everybody around the world, not everybody, but the people who know about it around the world get together at the exact same time all around the world, 12 o'clock Paris time, which happens to be 4 o'clock a.m. my time. And this occurs this year, 2015, on August 1st. Uh, hopefully hundreds and hopefully in the future thousands of riders will get together. I wanted to invite you to do that uh, with the hundreds of riders who will be participating. It's an awesome opportunity, especially for moto vloggers. What happens is uh, everybody rides, they record a uh, video about, this year's topic is world peace. Last year's topic, it was about uh, depression. So a little close to home for me. It's a really awesome opportunity and it's cool to be united with so many people. Even if you're riding alone, you know you've got this huge group behind you. It's just really, really cool. This looks like a jump. This looks like a fun little jump. Let's just do this fun little jump on a KLR. Okay, well, that wasn't all that cool actually, but. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, this year, and I'm sorry for this, this will actually be my Sink the Planet entry. On August the 1st, I will be traveling to California. I won't have access to a motorcycle at that time. So I decided to come out today while I had some time and do my Sink the Planet entry. So please excuse me for not riding with everybody else. Please believe me, I am there in spirit. I dream of motorcycling every night. So at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. California time, I really will be dreaming of motorcycling and I will be <laughs> with you in spirit. But I wanted to, I still wanted to submit an entry and, uh, and talk about world peace. This is something that's a pretty, big thing and when I first heard it and I think when a lot of us first hear it we think oh, world peace unobtainable impossible it's just not gonna happen you know we're not gonna all hold hands and sing that coca-cola song from the 80s or 90s or whatever it was too many differing ideas and opinions and ideologies and too much hate out there right there's too much hate world peace impossible right you know what though? In my mind, world peace exists. Now, just like anything else, that's in my mind. Let me start with a little graphic 
that I just barely saw. And that is actually what inspired me to come out here and make this vlog today. My awesome friend Molly. Met her on one of the Moab meetups with all of the uh, moto vloggers. She's a friend of uh, Mendo's. She's really awesome. Rides a GS, rides dirt bikes. Uh, she posted this in this graphic. When I looked at this anyway, at first I thought, well, oh, this doesn't make sense. There's no way that that's going into, that's, that's a round peg. It's not going into to a square hole. It's a square, wait, what, it's a square, wait, it's a round, wait, wait a minute. And then it dawned on me, that's a pretty powerful image right there, isn't it? It's an extremely powerful image. Different perspectives, different truths for different people, right? What is universal truth? What is a valid opinion? We always think opinions are like armpits, edited. <laughs> everybody has one and they all stink but you know what everybody has one and they're all valid and real as well let's go this way mm, yeah let's go this way everybody has a different ideology everybody has a different perspective and in our own perspectives we can see world peace even though we know that there is conflict around the world in our own perspective we can have peace now, how do we, how do we sh spread peace? What is peace? Peace is, to me, peace is love. Peace is kindness. Peace is freedom. And I'm not talking about America freedom, you know? I'm talking about actual freedom. Freedom to do what you like. Freedom to basically do whatever you want as long as it doesn't infringe on somebody else's freedom. It's a really interesting idea, this freedom and peace. And basically, the allowance of other people to do what they want to do without trying to force anything on them. Oh my gosh, we've got peace, <laughs> right? As long as they're not trying to force anything on us. That's what peace is. Woo -hoo -hoo, little tail slide. So freedom, to me, is what peace is. It's agreement despite differences. I don't know if that makes sense. You guys, so often it's our views versus their views. Our views versus their views. Right versus left. The truth is, nobody wants people to suffer, right? Everybody's trying to look out for other people's good in the best way they know how. Everybody's raised different. Everybody's upbringing is different. No two people live the same lives or ever have. So no two people have had the same perspective and therefore no two people will understand things or see things or have a perspective on things that is the same as another person. Right? That's powerful. That's kind of liberating. That, that perspective right there embodies freedom. Not everybody's the same. Not everybody's gonna agree. But gosh, if you let other people do what they want to do, and they let you do what you want to do, <laughs> that's world peace. World peace! Ah! Where does it start? Where does peace start? Where does love start? Where does the big problem arise? Where does intolerance breed? Probably not at school. Probably not on the playground. For our children, you know. Probably at home. So, what's the solution? Teach, teach our kids good things. Teach our kids love and peace and freedom. Teach them that other people can be different and that's all right. Teach them that they can be different and that's all right. Teach them that people can be and do what they want to be and do and you don't have to force anybody to do anything to keep your own happiness, to keep your own paradigm of peace. That's just my perspective, just like anybody else's perspective. It may not be valid, you may think I'm a kook, <clears throat> but to me that just is what makes sense. We can have world peace in two ways. We can have world peace within our own minds, and then we can have world peace on a grander scale. And I, I mean, this is the pessimist in me, the skeptic. I don't think we'll ever have world peace on a global scale. 
However, we can do our part. I don't think we'll ever pick up all the trash, but that doesn't stop me from getting off the motorcycle and picking up trash every now and again, does it? We can all do our part, and we can make the world a better place by teaching our children. It all starts at home. So, be a good parent. Be a good dad. Be a good mom. Be there for your kids. Don't leave them in the lurch. Teach them right from wrong. Teach them good and bad. Now, again, that's kind of a relative, isn't it? That's kind of a perspective, but teach them to love. Love is universal. Everybody knows what love is. Teach them to love and respect. And when we have an entire generation that loves and respects, it's a pretty powerful thing. It changed the world. Interesting thoughts, you guys. So anyway, that is my Sink the Planet submission. How do we achieve world peace? It's through the home. It's through good parenting. And it's through uh, love and freedom. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. World peace, let's make it happen. And please, please participate, whether you're a moto vlogger or not, please participate, get involved in Sync the Planet 2015, August 1st at 12 o'clock p.m. Paris time. Get on it, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling to know that you're riding along with people from all around the world. It's really cool. So thanks again, you guys. Much love to all of you and peace. Have a ride out. <laughs> I missed the camera there because it's, this is a different helmet. So ah, I totally, yeah, bye.